Hello, in this video I'm going to quickly go over the point online constraint and the point along line constraint that are available in the Rhino Whip. So I'm going to start by selecting uh, these two curves and then over in the constraints panel I'm going to click the create constraint, constraint sketch button. And with this uh, quick little example I'm going to do, I'm going to want to anchor uh, this line in place. So I'm going to do that with two separate anchor constraints. So I'm going to go ahead and select the line and then come over to the constraints panel and choose the anchor constraint. And now you'll notice here that I have uh, two kind of points being drawn. These are the uh, points that are available to be anchored uh, within a sketch. Um, so whichever points you click closest to will be the uh, points you choose to anchor. So I want to anchor both the top and the bottom points. So I'll select the top one first. Uh, and then once you've done that, it's going to prompt you for position to anchor to. I'm going to just uh, anchor it in the place it was. Um, I'm going to repeat that now for the bottom point. And now I want to use a point online constraint. So I'm going to do that by selecting uh, this other curve over here and then coming down to the, uh, the add constraint button in the panel and I'm going to click the point online constraint and again here it's prompting uh, us to pick a point so this is the point that's actually going to be pinned to the line so I'll select uh, this point here at the end you can kind of see I'm circling it and then it's going to have us select a line so I'll pick this line here and now you can see the the uh, line has been moved to uh, the other line that's uh, <laughs> that is on. So I'm just going to add one more uh, constraint to this line. I'll do a, a horizontal constraint to keep this line uh, horizontal in the seaplane. And then I'll come over here and I'll grab the constraint grip and you can see uh, as I start dragging the line it moves up and down along the other line it's constrained to, that point does. Okay so that's the point online constraint but there's also a point along line constraint. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of the point online constraint by selecting it in the manager and then hitting the delete button and then I can actually grab um, this point and I'll move it off a line just to illustrate how the point along line constraint works. So I'll go ahead and click the add constraint button and this one is point along line. So this time I'll select the curve and again I'll choose the same point. I want this point here at the end and then I'll select the line. Uh, now you notice this time it asks us, asks us for a line parameter. So this is the point along the line that it's going to stick to. Uh, so right now the default is 0 0.5 so that's the midpoint of the line. I'll go ahead and hit enter and you can see it moves to the midpoint of the line. Now, if you select the, uh, the point along line constraint, we have this uh, little slider down here in the constraint UI. And what we can actually do is use that to shift um, the point up and down the line uh, with the line parameter. So the, the general difference between the two is one has the, uh, the defined parameter for the position along the line, whereas the other one is free to move along the line wherever it needs to go. So I hope that clears things up. And I will see you guys later.